Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to another topic. Today in this video we are gonna see the difference between collision domain and broadcast domain. Ready? Let's begin with collision domain. A collision domain is the part of a network where data packet collision can occur. A collision happens when two devices on the same network send data packet at the same time, which reduces network performance and efficiency. So when packets collide, both devices must wait and resend the data packet. Collisions happen in a network where hubs are used. This is because of two things. Each port on a hub creates one large collision domain. So all the devices connected to this hub are in the same collision domain. And also hubs are half duplex, which means they can send data only in one direction at a time. So for instance, when a device connected to this hub sends data packet, Hub will forward the data to all its ports which means that every other device connected to this hub will receive the data whether it was meant for them or not. This is why hubs are considered dumb devices because they don't think. So you can imagine when you connect more devices to a hub it creates one big collision domain. As a result more collisions can happen. This is the main reason collision occurs in a hub. However instead of having one large collision domain. What if we eliminate the chance of having collisions by breaking it down into smaller collision domains? So for this purpose, switches were created because switch is more intelligent than a hub. Switch doesn't forward the data packet to all its ports. It only forwards the data to the intended destination port. Each port on the switch is in a separate collision domain. So instead of having one large collision domain in a hub, switch can have four smaller collision domains. So for example, if a switch has 16 ports, then there will be 16 collision domains, which will minimize the chance of collisions. And the good thing is, switches are also full duplex, which means they can send data in both directions at the same time. Now let's talk about broadcast domain. In a broadcast domain, computers can receive a broadcast from other computers on the same network. Basically broadcast is when a computer wants to talk to another computer on the network. First of all, it sends a broadcast and all the computers on the same network will receive a broadcast. The main reason for this is to locate a particular computer that it wants to talk with. Whether the computers are connected to a hub or a switch, it doesn't make a difference because both will forward the broadcast. Let's take an example for a better understanding. Here we have a local area network. Four devices are connected to a hub and four devices are connected to a switch. Hub and switch are connected to each other. So this network is one big broadcast domain. Every device on this network can receive broadcast from every other device because as I mentioned earlier, hubs and switches always forward broadcast. However, you as a network administrator wants to divide this broadcast domain into two separate broadcast domains. And this can be done by placing a router in between the hub and switch. This will divide the broadcast domain into two separate broadcast domains because broadcast cannot pass through the router. So remember hubs and switches forward broadcast but router blocks the broadcast. Now you must be thinking about what is the reason for creating more broadcast domains, right? Well having one broadcast domain in a small network is not an issue. But when you expand your network into a large network by adding more devices. So each device is going to send and receive broadcast from every other device on the network. When this happens, there would be a mess. It would affect the network performance and slows it down because of a huge amount of broadcast traffic. So in this situation, your devices would be in trouble, fighting with each other, catching up with fire and most importantly, eating up all the bandwidth. So creating smaller broadcast domains can fix the issue which can be achieved by using routers. So if you add three routers in this network, it will make four smaller broadcast domains. Now as you can see, each device can only receive broadcasts in their own broadcast domain because routers will not allow broadcast to pass through. So in a nutshell, in collision domain, packet collision occurs as multiple devices transmit data at the same time. On the other hand, broadcast domain mostly uses a switch to broadcast, so no collision occurs. 
all right so with that this wraps up today's topic thanks for watching this video on the difference between collision domain and broadcast domain i hope you understood what i tried to explain and i will see you in the next video please make sure you hit the subscribe button